guest tonight. Give it up for Shia Danny! <laughs> I come from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. It's the city of tequila, the city of glamour, of beauty, of talent, of brilliance, of genius, of art. Everything that's good, it comes from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. You know? It all started in August 16 of 1993. I remember it clearly when I was conceived. I'm a product of reconciliation. Oh, did you yeah. remember that? Yes, I remember it clearly. I remember the pandemia. <laughs> I was raised in Mexico my whole life until my 20 something, I don't remember. Because my whole 20s are a big blackout, and I'm sure everyone relates. And I moved to Canada when I was like 20 something, I don't remember either. Then I had a big mistake and I met Antoine, you know. Oh, yeah. You guys know Antoine? Yes. He's my boyfriend, he's obsessed with me. <laughs> then, yeah, that's why I've been stuck in Canada. I love Canada, please keep me. Don't keep me out. I mean, I'm there. And I'm like, where are the gays? Because there are gays, but it's not as, you know, the United States, of course, where everyone's just fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how much I am connected to all the queer, gay, glamorous extravaganza, you know? I was just myself like that since I came out of my mother's vagina. <laughs> no epidural. Yeah. But then I realized, oh my god, I belong, I belong. I'm waiting for my parents to die so I can freely be myself. I love my parents! But that's a heavy thing to drop. Is it not? Like, I love them. I don't want them to die, yeah, but yeah. I'm just waiting. Because the 99% of myself, I feel I am totally myself, but the 1% I'm waiting for them to die so I can totally be myself. I, I relate a lot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. I love that. Sometimes I tell these things to foreigners and they're like, you need Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, no, you just need your knees to bleed a little more. I feel like, you don't find that? Like, to connect with people, you need them to be, to have some trauma. Otherwise, yeah. you feel like you're talking to an unseasoned chicken. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You want to give advice to everyone here, one way to make their life a little more glamorous. Because you know, you understand. It's truly about finding your inner confidence on what is it that you truly love doing. What are you passionate about? Mm -hmm. What is that thing that you just feel the fire in your palms so much that you can see your future right there? <laughs> when you do that is when you feel your true confidence and your true authenticity. When I do that for myself is when I feel the most sexy, the most attractive, the most smart, the most special. So well, I feel... Speaking of, you opened for Lana Del Rey in Mexico City. Like <laughs> I am still recovering, still still recovering. I couldn't go to the toilet for eight days. <laughs> it was terrible. But now it's it, we're back to the right texture. Amazing. <laughs>